Many people might think that Velociraptor was that big and featherless theropod represented in Jurassic Park. However, that Velociraptor model is practically a super scaly and oversized Deinonychus. So what was this predator really like? Well, it's time to exactly uncover the mystery of the Velociraptor. Velociraptor's name means the fast predator or the fast thief. The parts of his name are derived from Velox, fast and raptor, predator or thief. Velociraptor mongoliensis and Velociraptor osmolskai are the only known species of this genus. Velociraptor, originally made famous by Jurassic Park, has been one of the best known dinosaurs ever since. In Jurassic Park it is depicted as a 5 meter or 16.4 feet long monstrous predator that hunted in packs. But this depiction is far from reality. At that time it was actually intended to recreate the up to 3.4 meter or 11.15 feet long Deinonychus when the Jurassic Park Velociraptors were developed. Besides the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World franchise, Velociraptor himself had many appearances in documentaries, films and TV series including Dinosaur Evolution, Chased by Dinosaurs, Dinosaur Planet, Primeval, Prehistoric Planet 1 and 2, Dinosaur King and Primal. Before we get to the actual size, let's look at the systematics of this dinosaur. Velociraptor belonged to the Velociraptorinae group, a subgroup of the Eodromaeosauria. The Eodromaeosauria are the main subgroup of the Dromaeosauridae, or more commonly known as the raptors. There are two different cladograms we can use to look at the Velociraptor Rene subgroup. The first one would be the 2015 cladogram by Robert De Palma, which is on screen right now. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna go with the second one, which is the 2017 cladogram by Andrea Chow. This cladogram shows Velociraptor, Deinonychus and others in the Velociraptorinae group. These dinosaurs are more closely related to each other than to Dromaeosaurus or other Dromaeosaurinae members such as Eutoraptor and Achillobator. The Velociraptor himself was a small to medium sized representative of the Dromaeosaurs. However, next to Eutoraptor, the Codoraptor, Achillobator and even the Deinonychus, it looked like a dwarf. The Velociraptor was about the size of a chicken, reached a length of up to 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet and weighed between 14.1 and 19.7 kilograms. The body of the Velociraptor was slender and streamlined making it fast and maneuverable. Its speed is estimated to be about or over 40 kilometers or 25 miles an hour. Velociraptor's head was small and bird-like with a sharp beak and large eyes. Its arms were short and had sharp claws. Velociraptor's legs were long and powerful, equipped with his second major weapon, the foot claws, with the claw on the second digit being the largest, measuring up to 6.5 centimeters or 2.6 inches. The skull of the Velociraptor was long and low with an upturned snout. The snout housed a sharp beak. The Velociraptor also possessed razor sharp teeth. Both these tools would have been used to cut through flesh. The eyes were large and well developed, suggesting that Velociraptor had good vision. The postcranial skeleton of Velociraptor was lightweight and agile. The neck was long and flexible, allowing Velociraptor to turn its head quickly. Using brain size to body size ratio, Velociraptor turns out to be a very clever dinosaur. In addition, small bumps 4 mm apart were found on a well preserved forearm bone of a Velociraptor in 2008. In today's birds, these protrusions serve as the base for the quills. If a dinosaur does not have these, it does not necessarily mean that it did not have feathers, but Velociraptor certainly did. Until then it had only been conjecture, but this discovery was not definitive proof that Velociraptor must have had feathers. Velociraptor's feathers could have been used to keep its nest warm or even to stabilize it when running fast. And now let's quickly switch over to Daniel to showcase a Velociraptor model. Well hello there, and about the Velociraptor model, I've actually got one here. 
toy. And the thing about this model is that, as you can see, it's got its flight feathers here. Obviously, we got the uh, foot claws, but you can see the long and slender body right here, and obviously all the sharp claws. This model is great from the design, but if you compare that to my um, Dromiosaur model here, it's basically nearly one and a half times as long. So this model doesn't look like a Velociraptor size-wise, it's more of a Deinonychus. Velociraptor lived in Mongolia and China around 75 to 71 million years ago in the Campanian and Maastrichtian ages of the late Cretaceous. Fossils have been found in the Chadokta formation and the Bajan Manduho formation. Flora wise, we only know about the environment of the Mongolian Chadokta formation. Specifically, we only know about a plant named Radicetus, which is a tracheophyte, likely a conifer. The habitat in general was very arid, comprising sand dunes with a warm, semi arid climate. This means that the climate was hot and dry with very little rainfall. The formation also contains evidence of short-lived water bodies which suggests that they were occasional but short periods of rainy weather. But this is exactly where Velociraptors lived, showcasing they had to be real survival artists. Following questions arise, which animals lived alongside Velociraptor and which would and could it have hunted as well as how did it hunt? Well, let's look at the how first. For hunting and taking down prey, Velociraptor would use its main weapons, the hand and foot claws and maybe for small animals also its beak. Velociraptor is also thought to have been a pack hunter. These assumptions come from the findings of close relative Deinonychus. There have been findings of different individuals of Deinonychus in one place. Even though this is not certain evidence for pack hunting behavior in dromaeosaurs, we still have to consider the possibility of it being the case. I personally believe much more in unorganized groups than in real pack hunting in pheropods. Now let's look at the environments that Velociraptor lived in. Contrary to popular belief, Velociraptor did not coexist with large tyrannosaurs such as Tarbosaurus or Suching Tyrannus. Many still believe this for the fact that many dino dogs show them in the same environment. Chased by dinosaurs or the truth about killer dinosaurs would be such examples for the Chadokta and the Mect formation mishmashing. The truth about killer dinosaurs really hurts me deep down there for this error. Cause otherwise it's one of the best and most accurate dino dogs out there. But let's go back to the Velociraptor and find out about the animals that really lived alongside it. The Chadokta formation was very rich in fauna and home to a variety of non-avian dinosaurs, reptiles, mammals and others. These include the amphibian Goviatus, the Crocodilomorphs, Arctosuchus, Goviosuchus and Shamosuchus, more than two dozen of different lizard genuses, about 20 different mammals, an indeterminate astarchid pterosaur, some turtles and birds. From a perspective of non-avian dinosaurs, the Chadokta formation includes four different genuses of alvarosaurs, including the cute Chivuvia, three different genuses of ankylosaurs with its most famous representative, the Pinacosaurus, some ceratopsians, including protoceratops, three dromaeosaurs, including Zagan and Velociraptor, two different species of hadrosaurs, some members of the Halskoraptor Renes, including the Halskoraptor, the famously infamous Oviraptorosaurs, including Oviraptor and the mighty city paddy you can see on screen now, one Pachycephalosaur named Goyocephale, some Truodontids including Soroornithoides, some indeterminate Tyrannosaurs and an indeterminate Sauropod. The Bajan Manduo formation on the other hand is home to the Crocodilomorph Shamosuchus, some lizards, turtles, mammals and a single bird genus. Non-avian dinosaurs include Alvarezsaurs like Linhenaicus, the Ankylosaur Pinacosaurus, Ceratopsians like Protoceratops, Dromaeosaurs such as Velociraptor and Linheraptor, an undescribed Hadrosaur, Oviraptorosaurs like the Machairosaurus, an undescribed Sauropod, Troodontids like the Philovenator and an indeterminate Tyrannosaur. In general, 
Velociraptor is a carnivore and its diet is thought to have consisted of small mammals, reptiles, amphibians, birds and other dinosaurs. From a dinosaur perspective I'd say it could hunt any dinosaurs that were significantly smaller than itself, like the Chavuvia for example. If it hunted in packs or unorganized groups there would be the possibility of Velociraptor also taking on larger prey. However, we have definitive evidence of Velociraptor fighting with one animal in particular and that is the Protoceratops. This is best illustrated by what is the most remarkable fossil in the history of paleontology. A Velociraptor and the Protoceratops locked in combat, buried under a mudslide or a sandstorm as if time had stood still. It seems like the Velociraptor launched at the Protoceratops, the two engaged in a fight to the death and mother nature got in their way. The Velociraptor stabbed the Protoceratops with his claw and was about to catch it on the neck, while the Protoceratops bit onto its arm. This fossil is there for the perfect record of a fight between the two. It seemed like this Velociraptor hunted alone, if not it could be that the rest of the pack made the lucky escape. There is even a suggestion for Velociraptor hunting young ankylosaurs such as Pinacosaurus. But why only the young? The hypothesis goes something like this. A young dinosaur does not automatically look like his parents. A young T-Rex is not as bulky, a Triceratops doesn't have the same horn development and ankylosaur armor also needs to develop. The development of armor over the course of many years is also seen in modern alligators. If this is the case for Pinacosaurus, then the youngsters are in great danger if a Velociraptor pack was around. Only if times were tough, Velociraptors could have worked together and hunted larger dinosaurs. However, they also had to watch out for other predators such as big oviraptors like Sidipedi and potentially Tyrannosaurs. Sidipedi in particular was way larger than Velociraptor and equipped with a beak that could have killed a Velociraptor. Velociraptors had found their way around a harsh habitat such as Cretaceous Mongolia due to their immense abilities. However, Mother Nature had other plans as the Velociraptor disappeared from the fossil record some 71 million years ago. Not even the yo so clever Velociraptor could have taken that into account. However, one thing is certain. Velociraptor is and will always be one of the most successful, cleverest, potentially fastest and certainly most dangerous predators of the Cretaceous period and will always have a very special place in the heart of every paleontology and dinosaur fan out there. That's it for the dinosaur profile of the Velociraptor. You can also write an animal you want to see next down in the comments. Check out the playlist Dinosaur Profiles for more Dinosaur Profiles and subscribe so you don't miss out on any further content. If you want to get to know me more, you can also check out my Instagram and Twitter, links in the description. Otherwise have a nice day or evening, Megaraptor out. <laughs>